So, what is a resource plan directive? A resource plan directive gives you a method or a set of rules on how to associate groups and plans. Back to the diagram. Resource plan directives allow you to link resource consumer groups, resource plans and ultimately resource allocation methods. So, what do you put into a resource plan directive? This is the heart of it where you set stuff up. You can have eight levels of CPU prioritization. In other words, level two gets time after level one has been serviced. If user A is executing something and he happens to be level two in whatever resource consumer group he's in, and another user comes along, user B, and he has level one, level two will be switched out, level two is switched in. So effectively what you've got is prioritized processing. Consumer groups can also execute session pooling with concurrent sessions. You can apply parallelism or the aspects of parallel processing to different consumer groups for each operation in a consumer group. You can set up consumer group switching, which allows switching of sessions between different consumer groups. In other words, you have one consumer group to do OLTP processing during the day and another consumer group to do data warehouse processing or batch processing at night, after hours. You can switch a different session depending on what you want to do in that particular session. Do you want to do batch operations or do you want to access the database directly? You can also have timeouts, basically allowing something to be switched off when it's reached a certain period of time to prevent locking up of resources and prevent access to other users. You have an undo pool, which basically sets an undo size limit per consumer group. In other words, the size of rollback that each consumer group can have. So apart from session pooling, parallel processing, consumer group switching, timeouts, and undo pool size limits, from my perspective, the most important aspect of resource consumer groups and plan directives is the allocation of CPU time. That's the most critical factor. It functions in a similar fashion that a Unix round robin queue does, except that it has level prioritization. You can basically split up processing between different users, giving some users higher priority than other. In other words, some users will get their stuff executed quicker than others.